what is up you guys it's your girl rob and welcome back to my channel today it is september 25th and your girl is on the last week of being pregnant i am 39 weeks and four days so on thursday i will be 40 weeks as of right now i still have the baby let me show y'all the belly bump my third trimester stories which started from june till the end of september so let me pull out my phone because i've been taking notes since the beginning so when i was 28 weeks that's when i began to have some like light back pain but it was more so like on the left side and that's why i was so grateful to be going to the chiropractor because i noticed that helped a lot and it only would start hurting like about three or four days of the week of going to the chiropractor so by the time that two week mark was hitting that's when my back would start hurting more so on the left side and i also was still working at that time the dark line on my belly started to show but like it's only at the bottom it don't go all the way up my stomach and it's like a faint line and then uh i also began nesting around this time like setting up everything washing the baby clothes folding the baby clothes wanting to make sure that i have everything and to be prepared for the labor and the water birth so i was like in real full-blown nesting mode then and i also don't like to wait and procrastinate so that's another reason i feel like it kicked in around that time full drive and when I got 29 weeks, that's when I began noticing that I had heartburn. At first, I didn't know it was heartburn. I had to, like, Google and see what heartburn was because I never really just had heartburn. And it wasn't, like, bad. It was, like, it was real faint. Like, I'll, I'll be feeling something, like, why I feel like that? But, like, I couldn't really tell. So, I would just drink some water, then it kind of would, like, go away. But then it, like, kept occurring. So, I'm like, okay, I think that may be heartburn. And then that's obviously the baby started getting a little bigger. So I felt the baby start kicking my bladder, which made me go to the bathroom even more than I already was. I think I was at work one time and that's when <laughs> the baby kicked my bladder and it scared me. I'm like, oh, and so the baby be on the bladder real bad, especially now. I feel like the head just sitting right on it. And then by the time I got 30 weeks, that's when some of my coworkers, because not everybody knew, but some of my coworkers started noticing my belly. That was like, I don't mean to be rude, but are you pregnant? I'm just like, yeah. Because I never really just told anybody at work. I told my manager, and then I just left it at that. So, I mean, you would go find out eventually because the belly was going to show. And plus, I didn't want anyone to know because they would go start treating me different, which they did. They started acting like I couldn't do nothing on my own, offering me food and stuff. It was kind of funny to see the difference between when they when they didn't know versus when they didn't know. And then I also started uh, doing some Kegel exercises. I found uh, this app. Let me see. Let me show you guys. It say PFEI Kegel Training, and it looked like that. And it's just like 30 seconds of doing Kegel Training. And, you know, rest, squeeze, rest, squeeze. And I just been doing that to keep my muscles, you know, strong. By the time I got 31 and 32 weeks, the baby was moving a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. Like, all during the day, all during the night. Because at first, the baby was just really moving, like, at night, like, after 9 p.m. But the baby started moving, like, early in the morning, in the afternoon, while I'm at work. Just all day. That I took my first maternity pictures. I took the silhouette pictures when I was in this week. Uh, I started getting back tired, taking naps throughout the day. So that came back because I think I think I was taking naps and stuff. Obviously, when I was when I first found out, and then in the second trimester it kind of eased up. But then once I got like in the third trimester, I started back getting sleepy and taking naps. I started taking uh. Yeah, key vitamins in the third trimester. I waited because it had the red raspberry leaf in it. Just to be on the safe side, if you watched my previous vlogs, you seen why I asked my midwife if it was okay to take, just to be on the safe side. Uh, that's why I met my doula around this time. 
uh, we also measured my nipples for breast pumping. That's when I found out I was 17 mm. I'm still waiting on my breast pump to come in the mail. I started to get round ligament pain a little bit more. Not too bad, but every now and then I have one that was kind of like, whew, where you got to breathe through. But other than that, the round ligament pain wasn't too bad for me. And then I started scratching more frequently than before and all that good stuff. And then around 33 and 34 weeks, I was getting uncomfortable to sleep. I was having to like keep adjusting the pillows and my pregnancy pillow just to get right. I even had to start like putting like a blanket or a pillow on like the, on my side. Like sometimes when I sleep, cause I would wake up and the baby weight would be all on my side and that would be hella uncomfortable. So sleeping with a pillow or a blanket sometimes on my side or my stomach that helps uh i started noticing my skin felt like it was scratching i was feeling like some kind of like weird sensation like when you touch the side of my belly but it didn't feel weird to like other people but like i felt it like when you touch it like real light strokes you i don't even know how to explain it. i brought it up to my midwife and then and they were just looking at me like maybe your skin is scratching but now i do see a little bit of uh scratch marks on the side so i feel like that's what i was feeling my skin was scratching you just couldn't see it i started having braxton hits or i should say i started feeling the braxton hits around this time that was very 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 like light and random so i couldn't really tell if i was having braxton hits or whatever that was and so i had to ask my midwife like what exactly is braxton hits or well what exactly does braxton hits feels like and then i also felt like i started noticing like carpal tunnel in my wrist well, I ain't gonna necessarily say copper tone, just say stiffness, just because from work uh, massaging people and then being pregnant, I noticed that it felt more stiff uh, than usual. Uh, I started getting prenatal massages. I need one right now. Oh, I felt like this sensation, like towards my rectum, I guess. I guess it was from like the pressure of the baby head going down more and in my pelvis, so it was putting pressure in that area and it was it was an odd feeling i took more uh maternity pictures in this week because my belly grew a lot from the first um maternity pictures i took and then i started craving chick fil a lemonade out of nowhere just busting i can use one right now and then around 35 and 36 weeks i started drinking my red raspberry leaf tea i started i think out with one cup and then i increased to two cups right now uh i was i still was walking around this time uh i took more maternity pictures uh during this week uh my low back and pelvic pressure was increasing like it was diff well it is i ain't gonna say it was it is difficult sometimes to turn when i'm in the bed it's like the pelvic whoo I think about right now, it's so sore. Like, it feel like when you work out or something, your ab muscle sore, but it's just like in one spot and it's like the low pelvic area. That's, yeah, that's, that's something serious right there. And then I started noticing like my glutes are getting tight and being sore, especially when I lay on one side longer than the other. I noticed that my fingers were swelling. I didn't realize my hands was slight swollen until I took some maternity pictures and tried to put on my old rings. And they wouldn't fit like the ones that I wear on my ring fingers all the time. They didn't, they like stopped the hair. I was like, Yeah, my hands are swelling because, yeah, I never really just noticed it because I don't really wear jewelry a lot like that. Started eating my dates every day. Uh, I started going to my prenatal appointment weekly, and then I also had this, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I had this little incident at work on, on a Sunday. I guess just I'm in Houston so it's hot so I guess I got like overheated and was like cut my body couldn't cool down fast enough so in one of my massages I felt very 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 lightheaded to what like I had to end the massage I never ended a massage in my entire life of being a massage therapist I tried to push through but I was just like yeah let me end this thing if I've been to fill out <laughs> and I ain't trying to follow all that work. So I ended up going home. I think I did like two or three clients that day and then going home. And then ate, took a shower, and took a nap, and then woke up. I was fine. So, yeah, that was pretty weird. But, yeah. And then when I got around 37 to 38 weeks, I could feel the baby in my pelvis. Like when the head would move or whatever because the baby is head down. It's been head down pretty much my whole third trimester. 
I don't know. I don't even know how to explain it. It's just weird. Like, it's just pressure. Like, it just, like, it's just sitting in the pelvic. And then it became even more sore to flip over. And so I've been, like, on Instagram trying to figure out, like, the proper ways to, like, rotate and turn just because it's sore. <laughs> uh, Braxton hit started to increase more this week. Like, when I mean increase more, it's like my belly it get real tight and like, ooh, I don't know, it don't hurt. It's just uncomfortable and weird because like, it'll be indented. Like, it'll make my belly button go in and then like, it'll look like an M. <laughs> and I don't know if it's like tightening then like the two little humps is like the baby or uh, body parts. But yeah, it's, it's weird. I also got my car seat around this time. So me and Thad put the base in the car already. So we're ready for that. And all we gotta do is just put the car seat in there whenever it's time to dig off. I started going to the chiropractor weekly around this time. Uh, hands, feet, face, looking a little swollen. Today I look a little, look a little normal today. But I started noticing my face, you know, a little, little puffy, a little, little puffy. Looking a little different, starting to look pregnant for real, for real, as I get bigger. Still sweating, especially at night. I wake up sometimes and just be moist, <laughs> just be wet. Like, I, ooh, it's like the sheets be wet. I just, that's usually, like, sometimes I be hot at night, but I ain't never just woke up and the sheets be wet like that. Even we have the air down, I have the ceiling fan on, and I even have, like, a floor fan. And your girl still be sweating. And it's just, that's weird. I don't like that. I hate sweating. Especially if I ain't working out. If I ain't working out, I don't want to sweat. I also started noticing lightning crouch around this week. It's kind of like a sensation that goes down into your vagina. I don't know. It's kind of weird to explain. Google it. But, like, I've been noticing that. And sometimes it'll, like, happen when I'm walking. Like, ooh. And then it'll go away. It don't last very well for me. It don't last that long. It's just like a, you know, like a. I don't even want to say sting it. It's just a sensation that's weird and uncomfortable, and you feel it in your vagina. So yeah, I started having more dreams again. Well, I started having those vivid dreams again, like multiple times out the night. So like every time I would wake up to go pee and go back to sleep, it'll be like a new dream, and it'll be vivid as if it was real. And I, sometimes I could remember. I'd be writing them down, too. And they'd be crazy. They don't be making sense. It'd be so weird. I started noticing, like, I have small skin tags, like, up under my arm, some on my breast. They're, like, real small. They're, like, like, the kind where, like, you can wiggle it. But, like, you can see, like, small little, um, like, a raise on my skin. So I've been noticing. I've been having skin tags. And then this week, 39 and almost being 40 weeks, uh, I started doing some curb walking and walking up steps. I've been doing the mouth circuits that uh, my midwife and my doula showed me. It's basically you do three different positions for 30 minutes each. For one, you get on like all fours and then like you lay flat on your chest and you hold that for like 30 minutes. And then you could either bounce on the yoga ball, do curve walking, or like side stepping up the steps for 30 minutes each leg. Well, not each leg 30 minutes. I think a total of 30 minutes with each leg. And then you also uh, do like an exaggerated side lying on your left side. So I've been doing that. That also helped with labor and the repositioning of the baby. I've been sleepy this week. I've been like, same as... Like I said, the beginning of my third trimester, taking naps. But most of the time, I feel like now most of the time I'm more sleepy. It's because I stay up late. Like, I can't go to sleep sometime at night. And then obviously I'm waking up every two to three hours. So then when morning time come, I'm like sleepy, <laughs> sleeping in, and then do it all over again. But some days I'll wake up early and then go to sleep late and then don't even be tired. I don't know. Sleep schedule is just all weird at this point. I noticed more consistent Braxton hits. Like one day, thought I might have been in early labor. Like that was like Braxton hits. And then like five, ten minutes go by, Braxton hits. It was like getting consistent. I'm like, is this, is I'm in early labor or what? Like why are they coming like back to back, back to back? But today and yesterday, they haven't been like that. So I guess it's just, this week the body is just preparing because I'm almost at the due date time. 
And yesterday, I also noticed some of my mucus plug came out. It wasn't a lot. It was just like, I think I seen some at like 8 in the morning and some in the afternoon around 4 or 5. And it's basically, it looked like snot. Mucus, what it sound like. And yeah, that was pretty weird. Uh, it wasn't a lot though, so I'm assuming maybe more throughout this week will continue to show and come out. But yeah, this is basically what I experienced in the third trimester. It hasn't been too bad, not to me. I think the only thing that was really something to complain about for me is just like the sore pelvic because I be forgetting that it's sore till it's time to turn over. And then it's like, oh, I had to figure out how to reposition myself. Uh, now I feel like as I get close to 40 weeks, I definitely feel like I'm just all baby, full baby, having to sit in a certain position. Because if not, I feel scrunched up. <laughs> like I ain't got no room, like I can't breathe. But I have noticed that the baby is dropping a little more because I'm eating more and like not getting full as fast as I used to. So I have noticed that and now we just, we just waiting for the baby at this point. But like I said, uh, my due date is September 28th, so we're almost there. Either he or she coming this week, next week, or we shall see. But I feel like pretty much if anything new happens after this video, I just will include it until my postpartum slash labor video. But I hope you guys enjoyed it. Comment down your third trimester experience. Or if you have any questions, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And stay tuned for the next video.